What are teachers thinking about ahead of a new school year? We're nervous. The past few years have been tough, especially coming back from COVID, but you know, we're always hopeful. We're always um, wanting to have the opportunity to impact students' lives for the better. So we're going in with a lot of hope, a lot of excitement, a lot of energy uh, to you know, hopefully, again, impact students' lives. So your Teacher of the Year, congratulations. Why do you think you've been successful? Uh, well, it's not just me. It's it's the student, it's the students, and it's the staff um, and at the Harding community. But uh, I think what I do is I bring love, I bring understanding, I bring compassion, and I try to uh, roll that into teaching financial literacy um, inside my classroom. So kids, when they come in, they feel like they belong. They feel a sense of community, and um, ultimately, that is what makes me, I think, a great teacher. So at the end of the year, when a student in your class walks away, what's the one thing that you hope they leave with? That they felt loved. They felt loved in my classroom. It's important. Yes, it is. It yeah. is. Do you get back to school nerves? I do. Um, my wife says August is like the Sunday <laughs> of the week. so. Uh, I do, uh, but once I have the first class down, then it's like riding a bike. Do you have advice for any of your students who are nervous about starting a new school year? Uh, we're nervous too, uh, but we're excited to have them back, um, and it, it will be a great year. What is the best thing a parent or caregiver can do to prep their student for a school year? Sleep. Make sure that they get enough sleep because, I mean, school starts early and our students tend to stay up a little later during the summer. So make sure that they get the uh, proper amount of sleep will help us teach us out a lot. What about parent communication? What is your preference and what do you appreciate about the way parents communicate with you or your good, preference? Good question. Uh, we teachers love when parents reach out. Um, it shows us that they're involved with the students' lives, but it also gives us an immediate contact where if we are struggling with the student or we want to praise the student, that we have a, a direct line of communication with them. So phone call, email, we appreciate any contact from parents. Best type of teacher gift, end of the year or Christmas or holidays? Just a simple note, just a thank you. Uh, teaching is a thankless job. Um, it's uh, teaching has been controversial controversial over the last few years. So just a simple thank you from a student goes a long way. What do you think the biggest challenge is facing teachers this year? Resources. Uh, just having uh, paper, pencils, those things that um, that students can have in our classroom to, you know, make their learning, to impact their learning for the better. Like supplies? Supplies. Wow. Why is that? Uh, just because a lot of our students don't don't have the ability to have the ability to get the supplies and parents uh, especially uh, those that are low income so just those them being prepared on the first day having papers and pencils um, that, that's for me the, one of the biggest um, impacts that students have yeah what's your favorite thing about the first day of school seeing all the fresh new fits that students show up with <laughs> <laughs> For me, it's like just seeing the drip. It's like, okay, like where'd you get that from? And, and you know, just connect them with them that way.